My name's Barry Fisher, I'm the Director of Real Life Digital. Uh, we're a Drupal company based in the south of the UK. I've been coming to Drupal Camp London uh, to, to all of the events ex with the exception of the first one, so this is my fourth uh, Drupal Camp and it's very useful to me as a, as a business owner to come and talk to other business owners on the Friday with the CXO day um, to discuss problems that they're facing around recruitment, finding clients, how they maintain clients and the business models that they use. So it's nice to come away from your little bubble of running your own company and to find out how other people are solving the challenges that they face. Yeah, so I'm mainly interested um, over this weekend to, it's, it's a number of things, because I've got a technical background, I'm interested in going to some of the sessions around some of the new uh, innovations in Drupal 8. I've just come from a BOF and we're talking about business initiatives, about how we can as a Drupal community do more in other industries and provide industry-based case studies um, so that we can do more that's outside of our own sphere um, and learn from other industries as well, because rather than the Drupal community trying to solve problems uniquely by itself, there may already be solutions out there. So Real Life Digital was sponsoring the CXO Day um, yesterday, this, on Friday, and we thought it was a good opportunity for us to just raise our head above the parapet a little bit and speak to other uh, business owners um, and also service providers that, that come uh, on the day. So that was quite useful um, to to speak with them and there were lots of good speakers this year so definitely recommend coming if, if you own a, a, an agency to come and speak and network so it's partly networking it's partly learning from other people's successes and failures as well if people are quite open and honest which is always always nice that we're kind of amongst friends people are quite uh, generous and sharing their positive and negative experiences so um, that that's great to to learn from those as well Yeah, so, so as a company, we're, we're really excited about Drupal 8 because um, when we speak to our clients, primarily technology isn't a key focus of theirs. Um, so we come to them and sometimes they don't even know that the solution may be Drupal at the end of the day, is that uh, um, they, the technology isn't their core competency. So we essentially help them through, through the process of having quite chaotic and emerging requirements and bring those into focus and then put a wraparound solution. So... It's about how you communicate what we're trying to do. So we're quite excited in Drupal 8 in that it's given us more tools, um, the community's getting stronger and stronger, and with Drupal 8 branching out, getting off the island, um, and using Symfony Framework and using other components, um, I can only see our community growing year on year.